Donald Trump ever be criminally charged? Um, it's now 60 months uh, since the 6th January insurrection of last year, an event many people blame on Donald Trump. Uh, a large number of investigations are underway, but as yet uh, there don't seem to have been any charges. <laughs> some, some say this will never happen because as a former president and a clever and well-connected individual, he's untouchable. But uh, others say it's only a question of time because there are so many offenses to deal with and he, and he can't get away with all of them. So I look at both possibilities. First of all, what about those who say, yes, he will, he will be charged? Well, look, the basic point here is that so many crimes have been exposed they simply can't be ignored. Tax and bank fraud, fomenting insurrection, treason, embezzlement. Uh, uh, failing to prosecute would cause America to be seen as a banana republic where any crime can be fixed. We can't have that, can we? Um, and if he's not vigorously pursued, prosecuted, and if convicted, punished, the presidency of Donald Trump uh, could well encourage crime by any subsequent larcenous president, knowing that nothing will happen to them. Uh, the nation can't have that kind of moral ethic at the top. Uh, furthermore, if uh, by any miracle he is reelected as president in 2024, he'll be at it again, uh, which uh, he'll be committing crimes left and right for which he knows there would be no judgment. And there was an important legal development in March. Uh, a judge presiding over a related case ruled that uh, Trump had, quote, more likely than not committed a felony. Uh, and that was when he was trying to stop Biden's election victory. Now, that's a big deal, and it will be hard for the Justice Department to ignore that finding. That comes from a federal judge. It makes official the recognition of Trump as a criminal. The House Committee, looking into this awful episode of American history and having interviewed more than 600 witnesses, has amassed a mountain of evidence of cr criminal behavior, which simply cannot be ignored by the public at large, and, and also it can't be ignored by the Department of Justice, which is the one that must uh, make the decision to prosecute, uh, so far as the federal crimes are concerned. So, yes, he almost certainly will be charged. Well, <clears throat> what about those who say, no, he won't? There's a great deal of skepticism about this. Uh, the biggest fear for this congressional committee is that a criminal referral from the committee will be seen as a political move and that the whole inquiry will be represented as simply a partisan attack on Trump and on the Republican Party. Uh, Trump will call it a witch hunt, and he'll have a lot of popular support for that position. Uh, from the MAGA people, of course. And even if the committee does refer allegations of criminality for prosecution to the Department of Justice, they may decide not to pursue it. There does seem to be great reluctance on their part, and this seems to have some uh, traditional basis, uh, great reluctance to pursue people of the stature of Trump. Now, there might also be reasonable fears of prosecution failure, in that the burden of proof in much of this is it's quite substantial, and they may well be nervous about success. No witness has actually yet stated that Trump directly ordered the insurrection, so far as we know, and that is the key to the whole investigative project. It was the same thing here in Canterbury, by the way, 850 years ago, um, when there was a big question about whether the king, Henry II, actually ordered the murder of Thomas Becket, or whether it was solely at the initiative of some thuggish knights. Well, look, the hands have to be proven dirty. The uh, Mafia has traditionally stayed out of trouble in this way by making sure there was no direct trail from the, from the top boss to the many murders which take, took place on his instructions. Uh, the biggest boss, uh, not too many years ago, was actually referred to as the Teflon Dawn. Trump has clearly learned from the mafia's example, from a fellow New Yorker. 
And in New York, where the investigation of tax and bank fraud has been taking place, the uh, high-powered consultant and former prosecutor, I think his name is Pomerantz, resigned from the team doing the work uh, because he believes that they're being too timid and that they're actually backing away from prosecution. Of course, that team, too, may be worried about whether they can prove the case. Uh, it would take all, only, one juror to come to the conclusion that these charges have a strong element of political bias in them, enough to constitute reasonable doubt, and that will be the end of that. Trump can always say he, he was just joking. And also, it must also be said that Trump has, over the course of many decades, survived hundreds of civil actions with his business still intact. He's a seasoned veteran of all of this. So, how do we come out on all of this? They'll never get him. Well, what's my take on all of this? Uh, this very annoying and distressing uh, situation. Well, anything is possible in the USA. It, it elected Trump, a uh, patent fraudster, an unabashed liar, and a social bore. So, uh, <laughs> why not uh, let him go as well? That wouldn't surprise me. Maybe he'll escape justice and even prosecution, but I doubt it. There are just too many serious investigative processes underway. America is a litigious society, and lawyers feed on this. That's why any big legal fight takes a long time. But the delay doesn't mean he's off the hook. He, he isn't. But uh, don't hold your breath. <laughs> and for more about Trump, by the way, uh, and his legal uh, difficulties, take a look at these, uh, these videos uh, that you see here linked. And thanks for watching, and subscribe, please.